Brandon, I know you'd gladly take any win, but do you enjoy it a little bit more when it comes with, you know, Lakin Sr. gets his first major league win. You've got Rio Ruiz in left field, and Brian Holiday makes a huge defensive play at first base. Well, I thought it was a great team win, um, just all around. I thought Wade LeBlanc threw the ball great. I don't know if he missed a spot on the night, just gave up that one homer to Brousseau. Um, and we just had a really – we had a tough eighth inning. Uh, I thought our guys threw the ball well. Um, you know, for the, we, we commanded the ball for the most part out of the pen. Um, Tanner wiggled him his way out of trouble there at the end. Um, but we didn't feel their position in the eighth inning. That really hurt us. Uh, then a blue pit, ground ball single to start the inning. Um, so I thought that it was a we played a nice ball game. The eighth inning, we we, we got to get a little bit better at that. But it was a great team win. Um, got some we had some big hits and to get a right on right slider from Chaz Rowe and and to end the game that's that's not an easy task um so that was a huge hit for us and for Pat Rich you're up next go ahead Rich hey, Brandon what was it like managing with uh with with the new with the new rule did you done a lot of prep did you enjoy to enjoy it it's definitely different I mean I've never done it before um I'm glad to get that one under my belt. It's definitely different. And um, I, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. it, it there's a lot that goes into it. And um, I, I'm glad we came out with the win. Um, I, I think that, the, yeah, I just, I, it, it makes it exciting for sure. I'm, just, I'm sure it's exciting for the fans. It's pretty nerve wracking in the dugout. Um, but I love, we got two double plays out of it defensively. Um, and I just got the note from Jimbo here. Say that, put that up again so I can. First leadoff double play in Major League Baseball history. So make sure we write that down. John Mueller, you're up. Go ahead, John. I was going to write it down, but I'll ask you. Um, <laughs> well, you're recording this, I'm sure. Yeah, everyone's going to get it out on Twitter before me. Brennan, is there more urgency on the bases in those extra inning situations? It seems like people were being more aggressive on both sides. Is that a symptom of the circumstances or just how it played out today? Well, you're definitely, you know, it's a little different visiting at home. It's a visiting club, which we haven't done yet. You know, you know the team's going to have a runner at second base in the bottom half of the inning. Um, with the home side, you're in a tie game. Um, you're just looking to score somehow and there is some urgency there um there's some things i like to do better there uh in our half but um yeah i think that you want to try to end the game and um obviously and um it is fun i'll be honest with you it, that was that was, i didn't know what that was going to be like but that was a lot of fun melanie newman you're up go ahead melanie Brandon, aggressive base running really throughout the night, especially looking at Dwight Smith Jr. and what he did. What was kind of the discussion coming into that today? Well, we, we, we talked a lot about going first to third since spring training. Um, that was an area we were aggressive last year. Also too aggressive at times. I felt like there was, we ran into some outs. Um, so we're, we've talked a lot about, uh, Kind of educating our guys on on out score, outfielders, etc. Um, you know, the scoreboard tells tells you everything um, when it comes to base running. Um, but I did I like the way we put pressure on them, um, and I like to see it continue. Uh, I thought Smitty was some really good base running tonight. Um, you know, base running does win games, uh, just like PFP plays lose you games, and we got we got fortunate to to miss to misplay a PFP play, because uh, normally that, that's going to be an L in, in the loss column. Um, so we did, we, did, we did a lot of good things tonight, though. How about Cedric Mullins' throw? That was fantastic. Andrew Gillis, you're up next. Go ahead, Andrew. Brandon, this was the, the third straight game. You had to use the bullpen pretty heavily. How does the bullpen look tomorrow? And what did you see from Evan Phillips specifically tonight? Bullpen's really fresh. Just let the Rays know that it's, they're su it's super fresh for tomorrow. Um, no, I think we're okay. We've got a couple guys that can go give us some length um, with Eshelman here and Hess here. And I gave uh, 
a couple guys had the nights off tonight that I'll be able to go tomorrow. So um, we did uh, Lakens. I wanted to use in an emergency only tonight. Um, I felt like that was an emergency, and, and he did a great job uh, there pitching his inning. So um, yeah, I think that we'll we'll try to piece it together tomorrow. We need a good start out of Tommy Malone. Joe Treza, you're up next. Go ahead, Joe. Brandon, you, you mentioned Cedric's throw. Can, can you take us through what it takes to execute a play like that in that situation? And also, can you talk about uh, Holiday's play at first base a little bit? Uh, well, it starts with Cedric getting behind the ball and, and doing a nice job of, of getting behind the ball, not assuming that he's not tagging on a ball to left field, but getting behind the ball with some momentum on the throw. And, and then he just threw a, a great one-hop throw. Um, it was just absolutely executed perfectly. Uh, to get a huge out there. And, and then Holiday, that was just, I'm gonna give Jose Flores some credit on the, on the positioning there. Um, and Holly with the, I still haven't seen the replay of that. I kind of got blocked from it, to be honest with you. I just heard a dugout screen. Um, but Holly got in the right place and, and uh, you know, he gets here today and he makes a big play and scores the winning run. So uh, good day for him. 